You don't have to be a medical doctor to prescribe opioids. A RACOM national investigation found psychiatrists, physician assistants, and nurse practitioners among the top prescribers of opioids in the country. Here's investigative reporter Lee Zurich with Licensed to Pill. Counting pills one by one takes time. This is a personal issue to me. It wasn't when I started. John Dowdy counts pills for a living. He's not a pharmacist, but a law enforcer. It's hard. Dowdy knows well, that you, pain too well. Last year, a relative died of an opioid overdose. Stuff. Another barely survived. Um, was dead when he got to the emergency room, but the emergency room doctors were able to revive him. And... Uh, He got treatment, and he's, he's clean now. The pain Dowdy and thousands of others in Mississippi have felt got the narcotics enforcement chief looking at the number of pills prescribed in his state. It takes a lot of counting to reach that number. There were over 201 million dosage units of opioids dispensed in the state of Mississippi in 2016. That's pills. That's pills, individual pills, 201 million plus. Uh, when you do the math, that means that every living, breathing person in the state of Mississippi from infant to elder could have had about 70 dosage units each. A Raycom Media national investigation analyzed three years worth of data of the top 1,000 Medicare opioid prescribers in the country. The federal program is made up of the elderly and disabled. Our investigation has found some providers prescribe what experts call an alarming volume of opioids, like Medicare's sixth highest prescriber, who's not a doctor but a nurse practitioner in Laurel, Mississippi. Darius McGee works at the Laurel Pain Clinic. In the three-year period we analyzed, McGee, a nurse practitioner, wrote 43,000 prescriptions for opioids. The doctor at that clinic, Vivek Barkley, only wrote 16,000. Our findings caught the attention of Dowdy. It would be uncommon for a nurse practitioner at a pain clinic to be writing more prescriptions for opioids than the doctor running the pain management clinic. To put this in perspective, while Darius McGee has written 43,000 prescriptions in Medicare, the next highest nurse practitioner wrote almost half as much, 20,000 fewer claims than McGee. But it's not just nurse practitioners raising questions. Our analysis also found general practitioners and family doctors writing large amounts of opioids. 199 of these doctors are among the top 1,000 prescribers. In 2015, we found 137 doctors wrote prescriptions for opioids to patients that on average exceeded the number of days in a year. Let's do the math. In 2015, Colorado pain management doctor Ori Clemens prescribed 117,000 days of opioids to 172 patients. Let's divide the number of days Clemens prescribed opioids by the number of patients. What we get? 685. What that means, for the 365 days in 2015, Dr. Ori Clemens prescribed enough opioids to last every patient on average 685 days. That's definitely going to throw up red flags, and you know, that would be something that certainly we would look at. As he continues to count the pain pills dispensed in his state, Dowdy's personal pain has given him a new outlook on the opioid crisis. Why do we want to let another life go? I mean, if we can make a difference um, and, and we can save just one life, I think we've, I think we've won.